Eric Moth with Mother.com. Let's take a look at the markets here. We're going to be taking a look at the Canadian market. But before I do so, I just want to mention here, for the sake of relevance, this is July 13th, 2018. And this is how U.S. markets are trading. I believe the NASDAQ is currently trading at all-time highs, having closed at an all-time daily closing high yesterday. Now, I should mention that coming into today, in fact, even including today, I have sent some short ideas as far as leadership technology names are concerned for my paid mother.com subscribers. So take this with a grain of salt that right now I am personally looking at the market from a bearish perspective, even as the NASDAQ is moving to all time highs. All right, let's take a look at the Canadian market, which is also trading at 52 week highs, I believe. And actually to be Straight to the point here, we are not at 52-week highs necessarily. Yes, we are, but we are at all-time intraday highs for the Canadian market. All right. So let's take a look at the two hourly. And on the two hourly, even as the market is moving higher, we can clearly see here that we are seeing a price movement higher over the last, let's say, couple of days, going into a week or so. But you'll notice that we are showing declining technicals throughout this process so definitely that is negative divergence now keep in mind as we are making this intraday highs today the high for the, for today being at 16 5 8 6 while we're doing all this movement to fresh highs you will notice that the rsi is not falling through in fact the rsi right now is struggling to hold the 61.8 level what that means is that this is the worst type of negative divergence put another way this is as long as it remains with this negative divergence and failure to hold 61.8 this is a reliable signal that pretty much synchronizes with my bearish outlook for the u.s market we can also take a look at this from a different point of view which is we see that this is a recent break which gave us a shallow pullback of that high we did get a shallow pullback here but since then the rsi has struggled to hold the level above the 61.8 level if i draw it like that you can see that even as the market has been moving higher this has repeatedly been where it has stalled throughout all this movement higher we come back again and we are showing the same type of resistance so i would say this is the look of a market that could easily change directions here and move lower i should also point out that right now we're also seeing the macd showing some type of negative divergence even as prices are moving higher so prices moving higher on the two hourly RSI making a lower high, MACD also making a lower high. Now the way the MACD works is the true move lower is going to come when we break this low or when we break this low on the hour. In other words, it's going to be a couple of hours into a couple of days for there to be a meaningful move because the MACD would need to break back below zero here. We would need to break this recent MACD low before we can really see the push to the downside, if there's going to be a push to the downside. Take a look at the daily. And the daily is also pushing new highs, all-time highs. But we're also seeing this declining line, which is pretty much another way of saying negative divergence. Negative divergence is forming on the daily. And we can also see that we can draw our uniformity line. We get this pullback. And now we are here seemingly about to confirm resistance here and here. So if that is confirmed as resistance on a day-to-day -day basis, that sets the stage, in my opinion, for the pullback that could actually turn up or end up being a major high we shall see but it's too too early because then the way you know that you're going to get a big drop 
is after the fact, which is whether or not you hold RSI 50 or not. So I hope that makes sense. So yes, you can get a pullback, but you never know the extent of a pullback until it comes to the RSI 50 level. If it breaks the RSI 50 level, then that is when it invites lower prices and that can only be realized down the road. But right now, in my opinion, given the two lines, resistance line here and the negative divergence, I lean to the possibility of a pullback around current levels. If we take a look at the weekly, one thing we can also see here is we can call this some type of a cup and handle breakout formation. If we take this weekly closing high and use that as the most recent entry, then the level there to watch is 16450.14. So as long as we are moving above the previous weekly closing high, that is a quality breakout. So in essence, the best tell that this is going to be setting the stage for movement lower, if one was to be patient, you'd need to see a break back below the current weekly buy point, which is this price. You'd need to see it move below this price before you can at least get confirmation that this is where it has run into trouble and the first order of business would be by a failed breakout. Now, this would be the easiest way to track this. Any movement back below 16.45.14 would be a sell signal. One thing I can also point out here, as we've seen with, for example, the NASDAQ, there's a line here which represents the break of that high and for the Canadian market we did have a huge drop here. We've come back over the last couple of weeks we hit that level for the recent high there and now here we are again so if the Canadian market is to see an improvement in the current market it would need to take out that weekly line. If this is where it stalls keep in mind that once we see this resistance if we see resistance on a week-to-week -week basis that would also be where to look for a sell signal. Now, to keep it consistent with my view of the U.S. markets, I still hold the view that can the Canadian market also is poised for a major pullback. Maybe even right now we are looking at the makings of a major high, but the true tell is going to be later down the road if and when we break below the recent breakout level on the weekly chart. And one more time, the level there is 16,450.14. A move below this price would be confirmation that yes, looks like the stage is being set for a major pullback. And again, this is also a call on the US market based on pretty much similar type analysis. Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and Blessings. E. A. C. S.